What is up guys, Program Apathy back in the building with another video and today I'm bringing you guys another episode in the Mind of Apathy where I give you guys strategy and pro tips. Haven't done one of these in a while but today will be episode 5 and I am doing theater today. Uh, the reason I decided to do theater is because it's a better way of explaining things. It might be a little bit longer than usual but I thought you guys do enjoy this more so hopefully I'll try to keep it as short as possible. And right now what you guys are going to be watching is some gameplay. Uh, it's pretty much Monday 8, so it's me, Skump, Nameless, and Slacked versus Classic, Accuracy, John, and Slasher. So pretty good teams. So let's get right into the video. So right here, a small palace. See some shots on the right. Gonna go ahead and try to get some kills here. Teammates do a good job cleaning up the kills. Slasher with the Struggle Matic, which if you guys don't know what the Struggle Matic is, it's a man of war. It takes me out. So right here, 25 seconds left. I'm gonna start rotating all the way around. Now, I could possibly gone straight to the hill. 25 seconds, you think. Eh, pretty good time, but spawns are so important to this hill. My teammates already have control, so there's no point in me hitting it. Right here, you guys saw me kill Slasher. I turn around. As soon as my teammates have that right control, what I want to do is I want to hold the back. So, if my teammates have right, if there's no one pushing right, if I see no action at right, means someone could be pushing the left already. So, as I turn around, get Slasher off rotation a second time. He's trying to rotate the back. Unfortunately, I get taken out by John. But I did my job. I tried to hold the I try to hold it back as well as possible. So right here, gonna rotate straight into the hill. I have teammates following me up. I want them to hold my front while I help scump in the hills. Cause if scump dies, then we're fucked. Right here, we get two dead. Uh, Nameless gets one with the dart. I believe he gets a second one here. No, he doesn't. Okay, he does. He crashes right into him. So I help him a little bit. That kill. Turn around. Kill the guy's side door. Now right here, my job is to help my teammates side door and back door. Unfortunately, I get taken out, but we have pretty much control of the hill. Boom. 25 seconds again. I have three teammates on that hill. I should not really... I shouldn't really push it, be pushing that hill. By the time... Just think of it mathematically. By the time I get there, it'll be like 16, 17 seconds. By the time I get in the hill and fight the hill, it'll be like 15, 14 seconds. I should not be hitting time like that. So right here, I'm going to rotate to gen side. Usually, guys, gen side is a favorable side, but I did spawn green, so I'm just going to rotate, rotate there either way. My teammates do a pretty good job and rotate early as well. I get my shit joked by John, but it's all good. I spawn out here. Now, here, there's two routes you can take. You go all the way back to green, but since my teammates have control of the hill and they have sort of green control of or gens, or to, it's called, I call it, we call it gens, which is the right side right here, I'm going to go straight to middle and help my teammates right away because they pretty much have control of the hill. Going all the way around would take too long. So right here, I do go through middle, get killed by Strugglematic again, it's all good. So right here, I spawn out uh, lab side. Now I am going to go couches. I could go mid, but my teammates need help couches. We have no couch pressure at all. So I'm going to go ahead here, help them. Pre-fire classic, get that kill. My teammates are pitching from the middle or right side. Not sure what they're doing my mini map. So I'm just here trying to stay alive for my teammates. Do a good job of staying alive. Get a kill. Come from the back. Shoot him up a little bit. He waves his He waves. And my pinch worked so well, if you realize that. Like, I, I got a kill, backed up, stayed alive for my teammates because I saw their pinching middle. And then I killed the guy who was trying to kill me from the pinch, and I pushed in and then pinched them. If I would have died there, like, if I if Slasher would have killed me early on when I was couches, this whole thing probably wouldn't have worked and they would have won the hill. But that's how important it is staying alive sometimes, guys, and battling your life in hard point. Hard so right point. here, we're going to rotate to the next hill. You want these back spawns, usually. Back spawns are the best. Right here, I like to do this low wall run, but I see Slasher's running, so I'm just, I pick up Slasher, uh, go back to Broken, I'm gonna try to wall run to top green again. And there's two people bought a Broken, but I just hope my teammates kill those guys while I go for the hill. I do have Heat Wave, Heat Wave 1, I know the guys should be behind me somewhere, Skunk does a good job, cleans up that kill for me. So right here, we're just both corner to corner, you know, I'm in the hill with another guy, two of my teammates, Nameless and Slacked, are just pushing out the hill, applying pressure. Right here... They could be in the front or in the back because they can spawn out. But since Scump or whoever spawns out in the back, we all know they're going to be in the front here. As you guys start looking, I'm starting to pre in the front. Putting some shots. I believe I get both assists. But hey, I mean, as long as we get the W, I don't care about kills. Teammate spawns behind me. Usually, usually what you want to do, guys, and this is pretty common sense, but for the people who don't know, is if someone spawns behind you, you want him to get the junk time. And then you go. That, that way, the rotation is faster, and you're constantly, like, it, it, the timing could be better for you guys. If, if I would have stayed in the hill and let him go, let's say right here, I, I'm in a better position to trade this kill because I got here faster. You see, now you have to kill. Now, if I would have let him go, Slasher probably would have been in a better position and killed whoever was behind me. So right here, important thing, 
when we're pushing the lap hill, you want to push the left. This way, you can. it's easier to fight side door and back door because you have a better positioning. If you fight from the right, it's a little bit harder, and even it takes a while. So, and plus, the old hill was the, the hill behind the screen. So, it's better. So, we all, you see, we're all fighting side door and left door. We're just staying alive. Name is 6-1. I trade a kill instantly. I go in the hill because I knew the points would get my streaks, and I get out of hill immediately. I really want the Serbi. Uh, Serbi can be really helpful, and I get it. Now, right here, I know someone calls out the back, but unfortunately, I get pinched. The bad thing is, we didn't really secure the back spawns, and we all died. The good thing is, I did get my streaks. So, I mean, it's it's not too bad of a situation. Right here, side kit, side door. I side, you know what? I'm going to follow him up. I get one, get immediately traded out by John. We spawn Palace. 20 seconds left now. When it comes to this hill, you don't necessarily have to rotate early, but it is usually at least 20 seconds. You want to rotate to this hill. Because, you see, um, I'm, I decided to rotate early. I already got two kills. And the reason you want to rotate early... I wouldn't say early. I would say for this hill, 15 to 20 seconds. I'm just gunning everybody. 15 to 20 seconds is when you want to rotate. But you don't necessarily have to rotate to the mid hill early, early. Like 25, 30 seconds. No, no. Don't ever do that. So right here. All right. So right here, I'm in a good position. When you spawn Palace and your teammates have mid control, you want to flank the AC. Especially if they had that last time. Because they're going to be lab. So there's 90% of the time going to be a guy top AC. And he's hard to kill from middle, broken, wherever the case is. And there might be one or two more you can see in my screen. So what you always want to do is you want to flank it. It's the best thing to do. I don't know what's going to go down here, but I believe I get the kill. And I get the two-piece. Almost get the three-piece, I believe. I think I pre-fired this. But you see how, how well it worked? I believe I get all three here. I got all three. I fell off the map. But you see how well that, that pinch worked? So always remember that, especially if they get the last time. I'm over here, guys, trying to give you the best tips and just, you know, teach you if you don't know certain things. So right here, if I spawn front broken, they're usually going to be like lab, side wall run. So I immediately challenged the side wall run with my teammate. There was one. I got a nice two-piece guy that says 23 seconds left. Boom. And my teammates have mid control. I'm just trying to hold this lab area. Don't really care too much about, you know, hitting that 15 seconds. Side just falls off the map. I decided to use my lightning to release some pressure. Dumbest shit ever. <laughs> I kill myself. Um, pretty bad. I shouldn't really have used the lightning there. I felt like I was going to get some kills, but I shouldn't have. Right here, I'm just holding the back. The back position is really important. Uh, as soon as I let go, my teammate dies, but I do clean up the kill. I spot a guy's side door, but I, I really want to stay alive here. Like, I have, look, in the minimap, my teammates both spawned out far green. I'm the only one who, who's protecting the one guy in hill right now. So if I were to stay back door there, like in that corner... Yeah, I might have got a kill, but I probably would have died right away. And me dying is a big thing. So instead, I'd rather back up a little bit to side door where I could be uh, more of a nuisance, you know, kill side door and back door, and buy time for my teammates to push up. So that's that was my goal. But right here, inside the peak out again, because I have heat wave. And I get classic. He falls off the map with heat wave. But even those couple seconds staying alive for my teammate was huge. Now, right here, boom, another big play. I think Scump was the only one to heal. We all died. I'm like, all right, dude, I got to save my teammate. This play can save us. I use my Hellstorm immediately, kill two people in the back, release pressure, allows us to come get his front again, and then he can just hold the back. And holding the back door is really easy. I think it was Slack. Yes, I think Slack was a no. But holding the back door is really easy. Right here, 25 seconds, I spawned out. But, you know, my teammates are all here. Uh, they're she's still getting shot at, so I'm just making sure we get this time. 17 seconds now everyone wants to rotate i'm over here trying to try to kill slash i did pick up an ar so i was like why not check in the spawn because they can actually spawn there sometimes it says slack spawns there so just getting the junk time having a pretty good big game 30 and 15 dominant game so far a lot of you guys saw me get like some good kills due to my position i think positioning this game is such a huge factor such a huge thing you know getting to certain choke points or flanking at the right time and stuff like that so right here i have three left side so I'm going to hit middle. There's no point in me hitting the left. We don't want to three stack it. We want to pinch it so. I get one. Almost kill classic. Kind of missed my shots in the end. But, you know, I try my best to pinch it. Uh, right here, I think my teammates are fighting middle. So we decide to do a 2-2 split. Now, breaking from middle sometimes is easier. Just because when you when you come from couches, there's always one or two guys pre that, right? They just pre that. You know, it's hard. You got to wall run something. Do like wall run like uh, I think Slack tried to do, but he died. But that's like the way you want to break it. But coming from mid, you know, only one guy usually preempts that. And you can just slide in and hold for the bets. Right here, 15 seconds left. I spawn uh, bottom broken. Me and my teammate, 
we just want to hold, right? Road, staying alive in rotation is such a huge thing. You do not want to die here. Slack gets a kill. I'm like, all right, Slack, I'm trying to stay alive for you, but I figured, like, he's about to die. I should have played this a little bit smarter. You know, my whole plan was, as soon as the scythe shot, I should have been like, all right, I'm going to let Slack die, and I'm going to catch the scythe off, off guard, kill him, and sell hold spawns. Instead, I felt like genuinely bad that he died right away, so I tried to go for the trade, and then I just died too. So it was dumb of me. I should have played a little bit more selfish. Like sometimes playing selfish is better, even if it if it costs your teammates dying. Like I've learned that, especially playing with MD. You know, there's times where J Cap, I'm like, J Cap goes like, dude, I like my intentions are to help my teammate, but sometimes I gotta realize like certain plays are better for the team rather than my one teammate at the time. But either way, I spawn out green. I'm gonna pinch the back. I want to rotate around here. I do EMP the Serbia. I don't think I killed it, but there's two there's two routes I could have took, and I could have gone through Palace to middle, maybe a little faster, maybe I get a kill, but it's a little bit more. It's a dumber play because it's a dumb play because you don't get spawns. And me spawning Palace now, if I rotate to Gens, I block the Gen spawn so they can't get the spawn, and it allows my teammates to get the spawn if they die, rather than hitting the front and then getting and getting dumb good spawns. You know what I'm saying? So, even though this is a slightly longer route, it's the better play. Unfortunately, though, that Serbi is doing a good job of holding their spawns. So, I spawn out. And I'm just going to hit the front here. 25 seconds. Going to do one more push. Trying to get some shots up top. I missed a, I missed a couple bullets, which kind of fucked me. I could have got that kill. C2 on top. Try to push some shots. Just get some assists. Three dead. Going to go ahead and put some shots again. How much assists did I get? I, you can't tell, but I got a lot of assists this game. Nine seconds remaining. Right here, usually what teams like to do, if you guys saw the first rotation, what I did was push the left side. So right here, we're thinking, all right, they're going to push the left side. I must, but I EMP something middle, so I decided to peek middle. Don't see anything in middle. Figured, you know, they're going to apply a lot of pressure to the right. I come to help them. But a hellstorm is coming in hot, and I try to run away. Run away just in time. So I come back right out. My teammate has a hill right here. I, tr I try to run away, get into hill. Good play by me. There's no point of me dying on that side door and slasher, which a kill is... Not, not necessarily pointless, but I could do so much more in my life. So right here, instead of like trying to challenge him again, I instantly run away and go into hill and get a kill. Release pressure. It, you know, I think we still lose the, the, the hill right now, but it was the better play. And that's all that matters. You know, you guys always got to think what's the better play for you and your team. You always got to do stuff for the win. So right here, they use the lightning, so I instantly go in hill. I try to slide and heat wave, die. Game starts to seem close, you know, I'm 13-24, we're doing pretty well, but it, they're only 15, like, about to be 15 points away. So, I go straight to the front, John kills me immediately, he's framing the front. Right here, we do not know what to do, so we're gonna, we gotta flood hill. We know that we have to break the hill, classics, front of the hill. I'm just staying alive, I know he's gonna re-challenge me, two dead. I'm like, alright, I gotta hit the hill, I had heat wave, I heat wave the guy, I heat wave him behind me. Heat wave is so OP sometimes, side door, pick up the two piece, boom, boom. Now, I believe we're only going to need 5 points, but they need a little bit of points too, so it's a close game. I'm going to slide out. Alright, we need 9 points. Go into hill right away. They're emp They're weak. We're like, holy shit, they need 15 points. Uh, we need 9, but they have control. Slack does a good job. He, I think he, he hit a flank, and they didn't expect that, so he gets a 2-piece from the back. And then right here, I'm just emp them, trying to stay alive, get a kill. John gets, gets the Hellstorm kill, but it's no problem because we get the hill, baby. So... I go 36 to 26, a uh, really good time, uh, you know, we played it really well, and that's pretty much it. I know today's video was a little bit longer, I apologize for that, but I hope you guys learned a little bit more, I hope I explained things a little bit better, you know, it wasn't as fast and, you know, as chaotic as the other videos. If you enjoyed this type of video more and you want me to do more like theater type of gameplay where I can stop it and explain certain things and go more in depth, th this card point game was a little bit long, so I try not to stop for too long you know talk a little bit fast about it but you know games that let's say like ctf or uplink where it's for sure a 10 minute game i could do a little bit more you know in depth but either way guys it's been your boy apathy make sure to like comment subscribe it helps the channel out a lot support means everything to me and i'm out peace